Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Lichianus Gecko and what you need to know before you buy them. Let's get into it. So the Lichianus Gecko is a giant gecko. I mean, absolute amazing New Caledonian Gecko. I actually have a few lychees myself. I just paired or paired them together for the season. So I'm not going to be pulling them out, but I'll put some videos up that we've taken in the past. Uh, today I want to talk about what you need to know about the Lichianus Gecko before you dive in and buy them. So again, I'll preface that the Lichianus, absolutely amazing gecko, love Lichianus, but there are some things that you do need to know or that you need to consider before you just jump and buy one. I'm sure like many people, you've probably been to an expo and you see at least one booth somewhere in that expo that has these massive Lichianus geckos that they're passing around, super handleable, and they're just lovely, lovely geckos. And they truly are. I'm not going to contradict that at all. They are fantastic geckos. Once they're comfortable being handled and you can get them out of their enclosure, they are absolutely fantastic. And there's nothing quite like feeling the massive gecko in their feet, those big thick pads just run across your hands and arms. It's crazy. But what we do need to consider is that Lichianus sometimes can be a little bit defensive in their enclosures. I see a lot of posts online about people asking why their Lichianus is aggressive, why their Lichi is not handleable, what, what are they doing wrong, how can they help their Lichi become handleable. But here's the thing. A lot of Lichianus geckos are just being defensive. They're not being aggressive, but they do have a natural instinct to defend their territory. So if you're gonna reach into their enclosure and grab that lychee, its immediate instinct is to bite. And let me be the first one to say, from experience, you do not wanna take a bite from a Lichianus, especially an adult. It is gonna hurt, it's gonna draw blood, and you're probably gonna lose a little bit of skin. With that being said, you just need to know how to handle a Lichianus. It's not that a Lichianus is aggressive, they're not aggressive, but you need to learn how to handle them, how to properly take them out of their enclosure, how to properly handle them when they're out of the enclosure and how to put them back in. And in most cases, once they are out of the enclosure, they're a completely different animal, absolutely handleable. A lot of them will just chill in your hands or on your shoulder, hang out with you, it's great. but. I think some people are a little bit deceived when it comes to expos and they're just seeing this gecko, this giant gecko that everyone's passing around. How could that possibly mean that them buying a baby Lichianus is going to mean that they're going to be defensive when they're older? So I think there's some information that doesn't necessarily get relayed uh, from some breeders to the new owners of Lichianus and that's why we're making this video today. And the point of this video isn't at all to deter you from buying Lichianus. I'm just trying to set your expectations for owning this new gecko. So number one, just know that Lichianus can be a little bit defensive when they're in their enclosure. Now it's very possible that they, they don't get defensive, that you can reach in, you can pick them up. You know, a lot of times when they're sleeping, if they're sleeping in their enclosure and you startle them, that's when they're gonna be most defensive. So I do recommend trying to get their attention before just grabbing them. The other thing you can do is wear a glove when you bring them out of the enclosure, and then you can take the glove off and do whatever, but just common practice to mitigate having your hand struck by a Lichianus, because you don't want them. And nor do you want to stress out the Lichianus to where it feels that it needs to be defensive. So there's things that you can do to make the Lichianus more comfortable when you're reaching in and pulling it out of the enclosure. Uh, notably, if they're on cork bark or if they're resting on a stick, bring that cork bark out of the enclosure instead of grabbing the gecko. That's one way that proves to me to be better than any other option is to bring the cork bark out or the branch out that they're currently resting on. Seems to not stress them out quite as much and for a lychee, I would recommend to handle it quite frequently in short periods of time. You don't want to pull it out of the enclosure and have it out for hours at a time. It's going to get stressed. And also, you don't want it sitting on your hands where your body temperature is going to raise its body temperature. Essentially, having that lychee on a sit on a 92 degree heating mat when it's in your hands. 
so you don't want to take extended periods of time with that Lichianus or any New Caledonian gecko for that matter in your hands for a, peri a long period of time. Short, frequent handlings will help your Lichianus get more accustomed to being handled, more comfortable to being handled, and less stressed while you're handling it. And for those of you who are thinking about going and getting a Lichianus, just know that this isn't natural for them. It's not natural for them to be picked up frequently. It's not natural for them to be consistently handled. So it's something that you need them to learn or to be comfortable with before you just start reaching in and grabbing them. The second thing that I want to bring up, and this should go without saying, that Lichianus are big. They're a big gecko and they leave behind a big mess. No better spot for a Lichianus to go to the bathroom than in its food dish or down the glass. And chances are, unless you have a really, really active cleanup crew, you're still gonna have to uh, maintain and clean the enclosure quite frequently. And certainly, if you have Lichianus like mine who like to stick to the glass and make a big mess and paint the walls, I would recommend always keeping a razor blade close by because you're gonna have to scrape that glass, you're gonna have to clean it up frequently, and you're gonna have to take their food dishes out, you're gonna have to clean them vigorously, you know, every few days, like to leave a giant mess, do you have to spend considerable time cleaning up after them? This brings me really to my last topic of discussion, and that's breeding Lichianus, of course. If you're new to this, this species, I wouldn't recommend trying to breed a Lichianus, or any species for that matter, that you've just obtained. However, for the sake of the video and for understanding, Lichianus, if you don't already know, are aggressive breeders. So essentially, the female is going to size up the male when they're paired. She's going to test him to make sure that he's strong enough to pass his genetics. This could include jaw locking, tail biting, severe wounds on their head and body. It's definitely not for the faint of heart. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do not pair Lichianus until you're absolutely sure that you know what you're doing. They have to be watched very closely and sometimes intervention is required immediately or very quickly if things go awry. Aside from the cleanup of Alicianus and what we've talked about, about the potential of them being defensive while reaching into the enclosure, they are pretty simple to take care of, much like the Cresteds and the Chihuahuas and the Gargoyle geckos, the other new cow species. They do eat a Pangaea diet mixed with insects once or twice a week, and they don't require high temperatures, making them a very easy gecko to care for and to have good husbandry. However, I do feel like sometimes there is some explaining and information left out when people are buying Lichianus geckos. So I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.